doctor. Something's happening in my life that's just horrible. I don't have anyone to talk to. Now hush there, young lady. You can tell me. Oh, but it's so dreadful. I'm awfully ashamed. There's nothing you can tell me that I haven't heard before. Well, thank goodness, because I'm just bursting all over. <laughs> I'll say. <clears throat> okay, then. Out with it. Well, Doctor, I have this problem. Yes? Yes? Well, um, I'm... Stacked! Stacked? What is this, stacked? Stacked! You know, like this! Oh! I hadn't noticed. Really? Gee, all the other fellas do. Ah, the other fellows. The boys at the office, they all stare at me. And they say things. What kinds of things? Well, you know, things. Tell me the things. Well, my goodness, don't you know? I want to hear you say them. They whisper when I visit the water cooler. They hold the door open for me. What's wrong with that? Do the ladies roam? They make all kinds of offers, too. Ooh, what kinds of offers? They all want to date me. The monsters! I have this creeping feeling that men think of me as an object. They don't think of me as an individual. I think they only like me because I'm physically perfect. Do you think of me as an object? My dear young lady, I am a professional therapist. I see you strictly as a human machine. Rife with normal psychosomatic errors and aberrant nerve disorders. Not as a sexy, ripe, voluptuous. <laughs> Young lady. Oh, doctor. You don't know what it means to hear you say that. Miss Fussmucker, I'd like to explore your problems more closely. I think we need to study your problem beneath the surface. We need to dig down, find the root. Tell me, when did you first discover this problem? Well, I think I was about 12. I developed pretty early. Aha! Do you think you did that as a symbol of rebellion? Rebellion? Against who? Against your father. My father? You hate him. Admit it. No, I don't. I love my father. Yes, you do. You do. No, 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 no. Admit it, you little trollum. <laughs> You're right. I do hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Oh. <laughs> That is the most unselfish thing a man has ever done for me. I don't know how I could ever thank you. You can go to dinner with me. Pick you up at 7.30, chesty. <laughs> Yeah, we're all pigs inside. Jumping, but Jesus, my hog sense is tingling. He hog uses his ultra sensitive taste buds to read the very taste waves in the air. My taste buds tell me that my loving sidekick, Half-Life, is in danger. There's only one way to deal with this. Strip! This is a job for Hee Hog! I have the audacity!
Velocity! innocent enough. I don't like the looks of that hut. I'll use my x-ray nipples to see what's going on in there. <laughs> tell me the secret of Hog's power. No. I'll never tell. Never! Never! So you won't talk, eh? <laughs> no! Go ahead! Beat me! Tear my little limbs off! I don't care what you do! But I'll never! Ouch! <laughs> oh! Talk, you useless little piece of... This'll make you talk. No! Please don't! I don't like that! Help me, Hawk! Help! I'm burning! Unhand that helpless young lad! Help me, Hee-Hog! It hurts! Hee-Hog, the atomic swine! You're a big man. Eat hot coal, big man! I'll quench it with my ultra-coolosity armpit! Ah! Take that, coal! Hurry, Hee-Hog! I'm on fire! What are you waiting for? Dinner time! <laughs> Unmitigated goal! Take that! Now take this! Take those! Here's some more!
hog. It hurts. Welp, nothing I can do now. I got marmalade on my butt. And it's alive! Marmalade on Hee Hog's bodies is only weakness. This is serious, folks. Look! It's Professor Mole! Professor Mole! I knew only one person could be behind this. Yes, it is I, Professor Mole. And living marmalade was only the first part of my plan. <gasps> what is your vile plan? Oh, no, it's not vile at all. I'm only going to help starving pigeons. Hmm, that doesn't sound so bad. What are you going to feed them? Canada. Canada will crumble! Rivers of blood will fill the streets! Millions and millions will perish! Help me, Hee-Hog! I'm puking! You fiend! Don't worry, Hee-Hog. You are powerless to stop us. The living marmalade I created shall dissolve your butt meat leaving only your exposed nerve endings for the ants to devour. <laughs> exposed nerve endings! Son, I know it looks bad. We've been through a lot together. I just wanted you to know that no matter what happens, I love you the way only a man could love a boy. Wait. Let me put that another way. Look! Over there! Oh my god! Half-Life dead? He-Hog on the brink of suicide? Where is this all leading? Stay tuned to MTV to find out. Gee, it must be great being you, Hee Hog. I mean, look at you. You got big muscles, a cool suit. The president calls you all the time. Girls love you. Man, you got everything! But tell me something. Isn't there anything missing in your life? Maybe just one thing? One teensy little thing that brings you down to our mortal level? You know, Half-Life, I'm glad you asked that. There is something missing in my life. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll tell you what's missing in my life. You want to know what's missing? Pants! I wish I had pants! <laughs> <laughs>